What's up? How are you guys today? We're going to do a day of eating overview in I guess my new house and new living situation over here in Pennsylvania. So I have not been eating breakfast most of the time. Honestly feel better when I don't eat breakfast. The thing is, if I know I'm gonna work until like two, three, four o'clock and I don't eat anything all day, that's not the best thing. And a lot of the times I'm too lazy to pack up a lunch. So uh, what I end up doing is I kind of force myself to have breakfast some days, which ends up just being oatmeal. Uh, we might have some sausages available again soon, the pork breakfast sausage on Frankie's Strange Me, so I might try doing that again. But for now, all I do when I wake up is I hydrate with a lot of water and I take some masticum. So uh, here we have a teaspoon of the masticum powdered up. You guys can get this on organsupplements.com. I'm going from work. Yeah, so I drink about half a bottle of water right when I wake up with the masticum. That kind of hydrates everything, hydrates my cells after, you know, sleeping all night for eight, nine hours and not having any water. And the masticum can kind of clear out my stomach, upper small intestine, uh, just make sure that there's nothing left over from dinner the night before. Uh, sometimes I will take vitamin C. Uh, we did that for a few days in a row last week. You know, I can tell I need vitamin C. The skin on my hands actually kind of starts peeling, especially on my fingers. And then I take vitamin C and uh, we're back and good. Uh, other days I'll try to take some magnesium or I will do like the beef testicles or something in the morning and sometimes like the third eye glandular. So I'm either taking vitamin C, magnesium, or like a beef testicle thing, maybe two or three days a week. And then the rest of the week is just the masticum. But every time, regardless of what I do, I always take the masticum and hydrate. Uh, when I do have breakfast, I will sometimes take vitamin K2 as well. But uh, that's really it. So we're gonna go work a few hours and it might be like one of the only days of sun we're getting July. So I might try to tan for a few hours, but I don't know. That's the main thing that I've been worried about is you know, one of the most important things for me recovering my health is getting a lot of sun. And last year wasn't that great. And this year, you know, we're already halfway through July and maybe I've tanned like five or six days total. So, you know, if I need to get 50, 60 days of sun a year to really start getting better, this I don't know what to do. But it will have to build some type of uh, UV bulb set up in this house now that I'm, uh, now that I have plenty of space. Maybe I'll have to look into that. ASAP. But I'll see you guys for lunch. <laughs> Almost forgot to show you guys, since I cook every meal, there are things I have to do here and there throughout the day. Uh, so we're putting our beans in the Instant Pot. That's gonna be part of our lunch. And then I'm also gonna feed my sourdough starter because for lunch we're having bread and beans. Other days, I might actually have to make the bread. So every three days I make the bread and then I'll eat it and then the third day I have to make a new loaf in the morning so like before I go to work I gotta cook the bread so it's ready for lunch or like yesterday when I didn't have the bread and I didn't have time to make it I just had beans for lunch so most of the time I try to do it though alright guys it's time for lunch the beans are ready uh, normally if these are cold out of the fridge I'll put a vinaigrette on them just like white wine vinaigrette with a little bit of oil but since they're hot, I'm just gonna have the beans plain. We have our last chunk of bread in the oven with a little bit of water on it, uh, just warming up so it's nice and soft. And then on the stove top here, I'm gonna warm up some uh, prime rib from Frankie's Free Range Meat with some collagen broth. Honestly guys, sometimes I'll just eat everything cold straight out of the fridge. The bread, the beans with the vinaigrette and the prime rib. But since I'm home and I have some time today, I'm just gonna warm it up a little bit in the pan with some uh, collagen broth and then I will peel an organic apple and we got our water kefir ready too yeah the prime rib is okay cold but for it to be really good you kind of have to warm it up a little bit nice temperature though all right guys lunch is all ready I'll show you that in a sec but I need bread for tomorrow so I'm just quickly mixing my sourdough here water flour salt and the starter I'll show you guys like a full quick version recipe of what I'm doing now but I basically just mix it let it sit for a few hours put it in the banneton and then bake it in the morning you know there's no real timing 
I don't try to fold it like four or five times. I just keep it really simple, make sure the starter is fresh, uh, that it gets a decent amount of fermentation because I really don't have the time to be, uh, to be nitpicking the timing of the bread. First meal in the new place, at least that you guys are seeing. And uh, if I'm being honest with you guys, this is like a second job because I got basically 19 different things here. <laughs> I'm just like working all day either on the business or just to feed myself, unfortunately. So we got the prime rib here for our protein, saturated fat. And one thing I don't say enough is even just very lean red meat has plenty of saturated fat, cholesterol, choline, all those nutrients that you need. You don't have to start choking down a lot of fat and necessarily high cholesterol foods. We got the plain cannellini beans with uh, the water and salt, the glass bottle of water and salt that we showed you guys in the pressure cooker. We have our homemade sourdough bread. It's really delicious the first day and then day two is okay, day three, uh, don't really enjoy it that much. Of course, our organic peeled honey crisp apple for dessert and something you guys might not have seen in a little while. Um, water kefir grains and water kefir. I have some going here at the house for me and hopefully we should be able to make some for you guys next week. So definitely keep an eye out for the water kefir. Always having a teaspoon of masticum at the end of the meal. And with lunch today, I'm going to have some zinc and selenium. <laughs> uh, so I was gonna make a joke there, but it's not appropriate. All right, I'll make the joke. That's why we're taking the zinc and selenium. So now you guys know. But uh, I'm going to uh, give you guys a little more of an overview of the meal first, and then we're going to go and do some stuff. The beans are soluble fiber, very important for detoxing the liver, good source of minerals too. The bread is like a dry starch to help kind of soak things and give us a different type of macronutrient energy because every one of these foods in our stomach requires different enzymes and is digested differently, so you want to have a diverse amount for the meal. Like if I just have beans and beef, then later I'll be craving bread or something. So uh, we'll touch on that a little more later. We got the sugars, more fiber, high water content, high volume fruit, which is good for gut motility, keeping things moving. The masticum keeps everything out of the stomach. The uh, water kefir grains and water kefir are probiotic to help digest the food and to keep the candida at bay. Zinc and selenium, two very important minerals. We have full length videos on both of those if you guys want to learn more. Uh, I think one is titled like The Secret of Selenium and then uh, I'm not sure what the zinc one is titled, but you guys can look that up on my channel. Yeah, so I'm gonna enjoy my lunch. I got a bunch of stuff. I almost have this house organized. So if you guys really want it, maybe I'll do a house tour, but for privacy, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do that. Um, but got a few more hours of unpacking to do, so I'm, I'm looking forward to getting everything finished today, and uh, we'll see you guys for dinner. And although this looks like an incredible amount of stuff, in regards to actually assembling the meal, it can be done in five minutes. But you know, you have all that prep time of making the bread, the beans, the water kefir, prime rib, all that stuff was done in different areas. But you guys can go to Frankie's Syringe Meat, and soon on Frankie's Syringe Foods, I'm excited. We're gonna have some more foods for you guys that I'm incorporating into my daily diet. Hold on, how could I not try this prime rib for you guys? So honestly, when I had it cold the other day, straight out of the package, it was good. Like, obviously it tastes better than all other prepared meats on the market, but I wasn't super impressed. Now, with a little bit of salt and collagen broth on this, guys. Delicious. Amazing. Very good. I should increase the price on this. I forgot to tell you guys, um, I am going to get a tanning bed, I think. That was the solution to the lack of sun. So hopefully uh, in a week or two, we'll get something set up here. But the prime rib is fucking slamming. It's delicious. Normally when I do these day of eatings, I don't really like filming myself doing the eating because it, it just takes so much time. Like, it's an extra hour of editing and stuff, so I don't normally don't do it, but since I feel a little bit up to it today, I told you guys the prime rib is really good. The beans are nice and plain. The water kefir is super delicious, and what I do is I have a few tablespoons of grains with the meal.
and these past two weeks of me getting the water kefir and grains back in my diet, I've been feeling so much better because, you know, we had the break, I wasn't making it, but I promise guys we'll have the drink ready for you guys. Today's Wednesday. We'll make it tomorrow. I'll ha I should have some water kefir ready for you guys on Monday, Tuesday, and next week, so definitely keep an eye on the website. And I actually made a mistake. I'm taking selenium and vitamin B1. I've told you guys before, I don't like mixing minerals and taking too many supplements in one meal. It can really stress the liver and I feel so good to get a headache. So today, this meal for lunch, selenium and B1. Tomorrow for lunch or breakfast, I'll have the B1 with the zinc. All the stuff, guys, is like half off, organsupplements.com. Best prices online by far. Now, the main thing that I've changed in my diet since I moved is... I'm really mindful of my hunger signaling. So as soon as like I'm not hungry anymore, then I stop eating. I could finish all this. I could eat the rest of this prime rib, the beans and the bread, but I'm like almost getting to full now. So I'm just gonna stop eating, have my apple for dessert, and then that's it. So, you know, my food volume has probably gone down like 30 or 40%, and I still have just as much energy and I feel just as good. It's um, it's kind of just really easy to overeat when you have so much food in front of you. And, and you can do that consistently for, for months and months and months at a time. And the major downside is really the sleep. You know, if you overeat and you're stressing your digestive system, sleep quality can kind of go down the tube. So outside of that, you know, you're not really going to gain that much more weight. And if anything, you can lose it all really quickly. It's just, you know, how well are you sleeping? If not, you could be eating too much. It is time for dinner, and uh, no surprise guys, I've been having udon noodles for dinner probably over a year now. These are the only pasta I can eat because of the type of wheat it's made from, so Hakubaku organic udon noodles. I did a video on these. Uh, we should have these on the website soon as well ourselves with the white bean puree. This is a little different. Uh, I'll show you guys what's in it actually. So it's the organic beans, not these specifically, although I used to make it with the organic canned butter beans. Now we're just using the uh, beans I make myself, the white cannellini beans in the pressure cooker. We do one jar of the artichoke spread, which is on Frankie's Syringe Foods. This should be back in stock this week. And something new I've been doing to add some protein is I actually blended some cod into the puree so I don't have to, you know, cook meat separately at night. Uh, I'm thinking about carrying this on the website too, but it's just a little more convenient, you know, less cooking, very, very fast on the prep. And I didn't really put much else in there. Just a little bit of the coconut oil, a little bit of salt, uh, no onions and no mushrooms. Uh, maybe when I order from the restaurant supplier next week, I'll have some organic stuff to put in here, but it's really just white beans, cod, artichoke spread, salt oil. Oh, and of course, uh, the collagen broth from Frankie's free range meat I'm actually almost out but uh, this also adds a lot of flavor and a lot of amino acids and a lot of protein so the combination of the protein from the collagen as well as the cod is enough uh, to be complete for this meal but what's so great about this is how quick and easy it is after it's prepped you know literally four minutes to cook the noodles and you just put this on top of the noodles and you have dinner ready in 10 minutes it's kind of funny looking at this meal compared to the last one where I had you know the whole table covered and stuff now we just have a, a big bowl of noodles. We have our apple for dessert, some masticum as always. And then we're just gonna take some vitamin B1, maybe some charcoal and uh, water this meal. You know, no water kefir. I'll have it like for breakfast and lunch, but I won't do the water kefir before bed. Did you guys hear my dishwasher turn on? Well, finally civilized, finally have a dishwasher. <laughs> Saves a lot of time, but um, the nice thing was you know, I didn't have to put on a mic and wear the mic while filming this because it's usually nice and quiet in here, but I guess with the dishwasher, it is not that quiet. Maybe, maybe not. But you guys are going to have to deal with it this time because uh, I don't really want to turn it on. So I made the whole pack of the udon noodles. Lately, I've only been eating like two-thirds of it, so I'll actually start only making like two out of the three portions that are in there. But this is basically just a lot of starch, you know, to kind of soak the toxins coming out of the liver, give the body caloric energy, and in that bean puree, you know, we have the white beans for the fiber, we have the collagen and the cod for the protein, 
and we have a little bit of coconut oil for fat. So it's really just one big balanced bowl of noodles that tastes pretty good and is very convenient. Very convenient. Uh, instead of having the charcoal before bed, sometimes I will just do a little extra masticum, but I've been sleeping pretty good on that. Maybe we'll have to show you guys the new recipe for the bean puree. I think I put a little too much salt in the pasta water tonight. I usually undersalt it actually. Now once I make that bean puree, dinner is basically prepped for the whole week. And if I want some extra protein in here, I can just saute up some ground beef real quick or just put some roast beef in here. Honestly guys, I don't mind fasting. I actually prefer to not eat as much. I just can't sleep and I lose a lot of weight. Like if I try to go to bed now, after only having that lunch earlier, then probably would not be able to fall asleep. You know that dishwasher is probably saving me 15, 20 minutes a day because I'll just leave everything in the sink and then at night, throw everything in the dishwasher, repeat the next day. It's nice and convenient. So the pasta is pretty good. Obviously with the caramelized mushrooms and onions in there and you know when I do a legit, legit recipe with correct ratios, it goes from being kind of good and enjoyable like this to, you know, absolutely delicious, turn into a chubby fat boy eating it, uh, which we didn't do just for uh, simplicity and ease and current food access. However, maybe that will change in the near future. I guess the last thing I just want to touch on is, guys, when you take this masticum, you, know, you want to start with like half a teaspoon per meal because if you do more than that, sometimes it will just like completely flush out your stomach. And you don't want to be on the toilet all day, which based on my masticum experiences has happened one too many times. You know, sometimes like you'll go to a crappy restaurant or you'll eat too much and you feel like, yeah, let me take some extra masticum. Bad idea because, bad idea. Uh, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. And uh, I'm very excited about the new products that we're going to be offering, hopefully in about two weeks. A lot of the stuff that you guys saw in this day of eating video, that's coming soon. And we should be getting almost everything back in stock on the foods website. I know some of you guys have been missing the cookie bars. I have the quinoa crisp and we might have a granola bar coming soon. And the breakfast sausage is back in stock. And that's, in my mind, going to be a pretty nice, quick and easy breakfast granola bars and breakfast sausages, but we'll see how the next few weeks goes. So you guys can go to frank to see all of my businesses and support me further. As always guys, drop a like on the video. Maybe if you like the video enough, I won't turn the dishwasher on next time. Uh, leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell, and I'll see you guys here. I, honestly, I, I wouldn't have turned it on. I forgot how loud it was.